Okay, so far I think this install is holding up better in DirectX 11, even though I've added more engines. So there's just a Lambda A coming up next. We'll see if it does better than its brethren. Now technically I'm not going with... I, I, I wanted to use KOS for all the stuff. And it would be trivial to write a KOS script to just stage after a minute. But I'm, I'm not feeling it right now. And or, or no, a stage once thrust went to zero, I guess, would be the way to go. So just in case it uh, didn't last a minute. But yeah, this is a little bit too much fun. I want to press spacebar. So let's, uh, yep, let's spacebar. Oh wait, let's fix staging here. And then let's spacebar. Wonder, uh, I guess I'll have to tell it, uh, you know, if thrust is above this amount uh, stage and then move to a second run mode, but anyway, that's for later. Oh! Only three engines lit. We just gotta recover vessel. Uh, Moo A is being built. It looks like it's gotta take 236 days. This stuff takes a long time. But of course, I, I didn't allocate points properly. Okay, so this one has parachutes on the first stage. We'll see how this goes. Rubik Picasso. <laughs> Good, I, I have no idea what you're talking about regarding art either, so uh, you could say anything you like. Okay, here we go, engine ignition. And we go! I intend to leave the Alpha rocket there till the end of days, yes. T2K3. Install whatever you like. Lots of possibility for realism. We're actually going too fast for parachute deployments. Oh well. It's looking good though, it's burning out this stage. No engine failure. Nothing has exploded. Okay, set. But we're practically horizontal. Okay, good second engine, but we're, we're horizontal now. Maybe we'll go for a velocity record. I think the parachutes just uh, produced, uh, it just slowed it down. We need a higher thrust weight ratio than, the, than what that stage had. Our thrust weight ratio was too low to keep it going vertical. But this is a good sign. I mean, uh, if we can get horizontal and we know how to do this, then we could potentially get into orbit with this sort of thing. But yeah, it's not going very fast now. Yeah, it's going down. It's got engine. Oh well. M make more rockets with them? There there ain't much to make a rocket with in the Alpha. The Alpha is as small as it gets. I think it was only 20 funds. Does this have a parts to do a V2 replica? I, I That'd be an alcohol engine. I haven't seen an alcohol engine. Some fins at the very top might generate enough lift to keep it pointed up. Um, well, the, these fins were very high up on the vehicle already uh, while we had the first stage on. So they should have handled that, but it started tilting anyway. Yeah, the V2 had ethanol. Oh, you've seen an engine with ethanol? I didn't see one in... I, I mean, I haven't... I don't think I have one. It might be around somewhere. Tentaras? Okay, well... Okay. Back to Space Center. V2 engine is in FASA. 
Oh, okay. I almost the only I only keep very few engines from FASA. I dump most of the stuff from FASA. Like everything but the engines in the Apollo folder, basically. Okay, um, let's take a look at our contracts. Oh, nothing new. All right. Well, we just have to try to go higher. Let's see. What's next? We gotta land the sea next. Hopefully, I didn't put parachutes on it. Hey, it's one of the actual songs in Kerbal Space Program. The song that was mocking you when you did your first docking with unbalanced RCS. Oh. Yeah, I could see how that could be irritating. You usually just listen to your own music. Yeah, I would too. Uh, when I'm building stuff or stuff like that. Or I'm watching streams, of course. But a lot of my music isn't is will get the VODs muted. And beyond that, uh, I wouldn't be able to upload to YouTube. So, you know, that's the problem here. So here we go again. This time this is staged properly. It doesn't look like it's got parachutes on the first stage, so it should have the TWR that's necessary. Okay, let's hope all the engines work out. All right. So it looks like uh, two launch clamps works to uh, keep this thing pointed up. And it was no wait. Uh, it's deviating. Yeah, it's deviating. Well, it's sort of deviating. It did better, but it didn't go all the way. It's still deviating from straight up. some engines set and ignition well we continue deviation maybe because of the fins positions yeah that's why I usually don't like to rotate stuff on the procedural tank whenever you rotate stuff on a procedural tank oh we lost that engine too oh well this is not going very far Fortunately, we might be able to recover this, though. Yeah, I generally don't want to rotate stuff on procedural tanks because they always end up a little bit off somehow. Okay, I'll wait till minimum and then pop the parachute. Probably when we reach Apoapsis, obviously. Okay, parachute. Oh, right. Negative vertical velocity. Very important. Okay, parachutes. Well, it's gotta be a long trip down. You can see it's already already very, going very quickly now. So if we didn't pop it then, it'd go too quickly. This is what I get for installing all the realism mods. Yeah, pretty much. 100% Kraken. Well, we haven't hit uh, Kraken exactly yet. Test flight is killing the engines before the Kraken can get to it. Oh yeah, landing on the moon's gotta be fun. Somebody should give you an award if you actually manage to get something to land on Mars and bring it back. I mean, in realism, I mean, in career realism overhaul, I haven't done that yet. I'm planning to in the Realism Overall series I've got going right now. I want to land something on Mars and bring it back. I'm not saying Kerbals, I'm saying something. I wish the textures didn't end up going all streaky on me though. I don't know what that's about. It's really annoying. Oh, it's tipping. Oh, it tipped and it survived. Oh, this is a very hardy top stage. Okay, recover. Makes me happy when it tips and survives. That's always good. Have to have OpenGL unless you're pay playing stock? Oh, yeah. Well, OpenGL has too many graphical glitches for me. Looks like DirectX is doing quite nicely. Well, except for the streaky. But this happens in stock, too, sometimes. Okay, 377. 
Wow, we landed really far away from the KSC. Something's wrong there. We didn't go 3,000 kilometers. We're not getting the right recovery value. What's making it... Is it thinking that... But that's not the original KSC location either. I know how far that would be. We didn't go... Oh no, we went horizontally for quite a while. We went 3,000 kilometers? Oh, you don't mind aliasing? Oh, good thing for you then. I do. Could have sworn the Lambda would get... this. The Lambda's been pretty darn close to getting us to space. Actually, I should... I sh you know, once this one is... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get another Lambda up. Because it's, it's... It's rather close. Money and especially science plays an important... Very important part in regular KSP. Yes! Uh, it's also the case in Realism Overhaul. Don't be fooled. We're launching very cheap rockets right now, but that's because there's a lot of trial and error involved. Um, right now, we haven't got out of space yet. So keep that in mind. So, yeah. It's, it's 563, but we have to do a lot of launches in order to get to space. And that's why it's so cheap. It gets expensive real quickly. And the science is obviously important. Look at our engines. All we've got is this one. This one's got seven kil kilonewtons. That's not even a rocket. That's just a separatron. That's a separatron. This is a booster. That's 0.33 tons with 220 kilonewtons. So yeah, we need some science. Science is important. We're not going very far like this. Oh, I want to try the Lambda A again. None of this other newfangled stuff. We did have engine issues, though. But perhaps not critically. If we launch enough of these, we might get to space. <laughs> oh, what a way of putting it. But we should put the launch clamps on all sides this time. Let's see if that helps. So, total support. That Airby may be your new fave once it gets the tech upgrade to the... Oh. You prefer it to the one kill... No. The one kill Newton for us to restart. How can you like the Aerobee? The, the, does the Aerobee ever restart? I mean, does it restart as a XASR? Money gets more important once you get to orbit. Yeah. Yeah, restart thing. No. The, the one kill Newton thruster is beautiful because it restarts. That's, that's the whole point of it. It's just an overgrown RCS port. Well, not really overgrown. Just an RCS port. Far enough? No, no. I've landed on the moon with one kill Newton thrusters, Slynn. One kill Newton thrusters are your thing to land everywhere. <laughs> Probes, mainly, but even Kerbals. Okay guys, this is the biggest rocket yet. Four tons. You started your space program with a more sizable grant? Well, that might have been a good idea. You gotta change the restart values on some of the engines. RD0120 can apparently restart ten times, according to someone who knows. I don't know. I... I... Yeah, I don't know much. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. I generally like to have the restart values to be something approximating what they actually did. I don't think it ever restarted 10 times. Okay, here we go. Uh, throttle up. And obviously SAS is not a thing here yet. So, uh, nine engines. Let's see. Two engines off. Let's see what happens. That's a bad idea. Okay, next time we don't try and launch with two engines out. <laughs> Actually, we should check which two engines they are. Okay, you only found one that... 
had three ignitions, but its capability. Yeah, I don't know much about the 0120. Yeah, it'd be better if we could see which engines are out. Yeah, I agree. Two on the same side, yeah, clearly. Yeah, well, I'd like to know whether they're on the same side before, I mean, you know, in some sort of display, that'd be nice. Okay, uh, let's throw up another Moo. At least we're making, I guess we're relying, we're uh, adding more reliability to the Arabies. So yeah, we've got test flight. My, my madness here is that some of these engines might fail randomly, folks, so just keep that in mind. And so we're trying to see. We have explosion. Yeah, hey, like... Every every KSP player says that, right? But we, we've got explosions for legitimate reasons. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm worried that the engines will not all ignite. We will see. Here we go. Okay, we're good. Off we go. Uh, we've got overheating. Wow, it's loud. Spinning is nominal. Oh, that's not nominal. That's not nominal. Okay, um, that was not nominal. Uh, okay, can one parachute handle this? We're about to find out. I have no idea what happened. One failed? Well, I just ripped the thing apart. Let's just F3 this. One failed. I thought I saw all of them work. Oh, the, no, no, it's the procedural structural elements that exploded. Ah, uh, I was worried about that. Okay, so we can't use those procedural structural elements. That's the problem. Okay, so I'll have to design it a little bit different. She was doing Apollo 13 before uh, you came to watch, yeah? Yeah, yeah, the second stage, one of the engines got mid-burn. That was the center engine on the second stage of Apollo 13, that's correct. And that's because it would have exploded otherwise, so it's, it's good that it shut down. Very good that it shut down. It was experiencing extremely high G-forces. That was a not so good stage right there, those uh, five J2s like that. Okay, recover quickly. Okay. No, actually the it was always planned to shut down the center J2 to avoid um, pogo oscillations. What they didn't realize was that how bad the pogo oscillations were. They underestimated the severity of the oscillations in certain cases and Apollo 13 experienced one of those cases. And so they had to make some adjustments. But yeah, the Center J2 did shut down, even on Apollo 11, for instance. It shut down early. Maybe the small fin's giving me spin problems? I don't have spin problems. No, no, no. The spin is intentional to help stability SU-25T. No, no, we, we deliberately put the spin on. Yeah. We found that it was uh, very unstable without uh, being spin stabilized. We were deliberately spin stabilizing. So I'm not going to put the side fairings on because the side fairings aren't priced right. No, no, I can't do that. Hmm, why am I going to do this? Because if you don't put the side fairings on, they actually, uh, it, it, uh, it just fails structurally. Um, is there any way to get the right price for you little guys? No. No, you see, I need to get something to attached to the node at the center. I guess I'll just put another engine. I guess that's a simple way to go. I'm just gonna add a fifth engine. I didn't want to do that, but it changes the uh, stage very dramatically. Okay, better. Procedural decoupler. Big... Um, it, I don't think it'd be very structurally sound if it was very thin. No, they don't. Uh, they don't become long and narrow either. See uh, the stack decouplers here. Well, I guess they. You can't adjust the length. I don't know if they're. They, they might be long enough. Might be long enough. 
Why not one engine? Less failure chance? It's, uh, the, the one engine is on the top stage. The, the, there's one engine here, five engines here, nine engines down there. Uh, we need a thrust to weight ratio that works, right? Otherwise this thing isn't, isn't gonna go anywhere. I think I'll... whoa. That's not right. May offset the four engines a bit further from the center? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, now that we've got uh, more engines, we need more fuel. That's the way of things. When do I unlock better engines? Well, the thing is, Nathan Kell, who uh, is sort of in charge of realism overhaul and such, and the tech tree, said that we could get to orbit with just a start node. And so I'm trying to do that. So it's just my thing. I could probably unlock one more tech by now. Okay, so this is the tech tree, which is big. It's very big. I don't think they've got this all filled in. But uh, we've got five. We could unlock supersonic flight, which just has this nasty cockpit and an engine that isn't right. Um, early construction we could buy. And we could... We can't get early orbit rocketry, so we can't get these engines. These... These will get you far. These will get you far. Oh, this uh, RD-103 has ethanol. That's an ethanol burning engine. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. We just need 10 science. Okay, so let's build one and build another. I don't know the details of Raptor just yet. Uh, they, they have been mixed messages before, so I'm hesitant to say anything about it, except for I'm looking forward to it. How do you gather science in RO? Haven't seen me. Uh, oh, that's because I only got. Uh, I haven't got gotten far enough to get science points. Uh, we thermometer, barometer, goo, all the same stuff. Oh, and the probe core gets some too. So uh, I'll show you in a sec. The one thing that's different is your probe cores can do science. So here we have a probe core, and so you can see. Uh, I guess analyze telemetry would be a thing. And so I guess we could get science from that, but uh, right now we're on the launch pad, so it doesn't allow us. We can't do launch pad science, because realism overhaul. Okay. Um, oh, this this is just a lambda. So this is we'll try for space with the lambda again. But uh, so this is not a Mu rocket, which is good because you know fewer engine failures. Design process is great though, Use it utilizing oodles of computer data, yeah. Yeah, I approve of the design process and improvement process, because they improve their their stuff very fluidly. Instead of just, you know, not changing things. Okay, let's try this. Up we go! Here we got some. Let's transmit. Okay, we're spinning up. Going a bit fast on the spin though. I haven't fixed these fins. Should have fixed the fins. Well, we got the science. I don't know how well the engines will last with this spin going. Pretty good so far. Okay, pretty good. Okay, clean stage. We've slowed down the spin. Ignition. Alright, a good engine here as well. I think we're getting to space this time. Maybe. Once again, citizens of Florida, watch out. This thing is not going to be able to deploy its parachutes. Uh, 
Okay, Apoapsis getting there. 130 kilometers is space. It is planned. Yeah. <laughs> now that's the point. Yep. Okay. I, I, all right. Well, uh, yep. 169. And uh, yeah. We did it with the Lambda instead of the Mu. Wow, that took a lot. How many times did it take launching Lambda rockets before we got one that actually worked all the way? Without the engines failing somewhere. Did we fail a contract? Okay, 80 kilometers, 1200 meters per second. Okay, okay. Sounding rocket low. Ah, oh, the deadline was pretty quick then, huh? Oh, I needed to pick that up again. Darn it, we. This could have done that. Ah. Oh. How's our funds? Well, we back. We were back above twenty thousand at least. Okay. Well, uh, science. We can do science. Yes. Uh, temperature scan. Transmit. Okay. Barometer scan. Transmit. Small step for rocket, but a huge step for the EDB. Indeed. And then we can uh, hopefully something good from our our avionics package. Analyze telemetry. Two points above Earth's grasslands. Now if we could only angle this to get above the ocean, we could get more. <laughs> if, only, if only we could get to another biome. Okay, well, it's gonna get slow here, but we can't deploy parachutes right now, so it doesn't matter. It's gonna be going pretty darn quickly. Let's see how quick it goes once it uh, gets back to the atmosphere and smashes into the ground. High altitude science. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we can. Okay. Transmit that. Good catch, SU-25T. I don't know how long we'll be in the high altitude. Or whether I... Okay, let's get barometer. Oh, not even a message? Psh. And analyze telemetry. I'll wait till the other one transmit. We have enough electric charge for all this. It's amazing. Good electric charge. Okay, well, it's flipped over and it's going fast now. Let's hope it ends up on the grounds of Cape Canaveral or something. 1500 and experiencing some slowdown due to terminal velocity, but not enough. All right, didn't even reach the ground. Well, deadly re-entry is working. Any additions to the science biome reports? Please see thread. What about the... Uh, there's already a community science report thing, right? Uh, can they grab some of those? Okay, so let's just continue. It's another Lambda A this time. I think for RC RSS, he only really wants real reports, not, not jokey stuff. Well, some of them are jokies. Well, I don't know. I sort of appreciate a sense of humor. It can get dull being serious all the time. Even astronauts weren't serious all the time. They gave some joke reports back, sometimes. They called in to say they saw some weird stuff around the moon just for kicks. They did that. Especially no jokes about a certain outer glass gas planet. Oh. Wait a minute, hold on. That That's a good point. Last time I checked that certain outer gas planet, it was called Elu here. So uh, let me check if that's solved, because I've updated some mods. Oh, this is our first time in the tracking station. Wow. Okay, so yeah, I want to check that that's not called Elu anymore. So Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Okay, good. Because I was having a problem with that. Let's make sure Neptune, Pluto. Okay, all good. The what? We had stuff. Didn't we have stuff building, guys? I thought we had more moves. Uh, 
SU-25T, can you confirm? We had more moves building, right? Did it, did it kill our stuff that was building when I went to the tracking station? Is it somehow tied to the tracking station? Maybe I should have gone to the tracking station before starting to build stuff. Because that's apparently the only thing that changed, right? KSC switches sh shenanigans? Maybe. But I didn't switch to KSC. Cape Canaveral. Cannot sound set launch site to active site. Let me just uh, pop back out. Builds are tied to launch site, so with the KSC switcher, it says all the builds to a specific path. That's fine. No problem with that. The problem is I probably should have act. I guess KSC switcher only only activates when you go into into the tracking station, and so it just reset everything, except for the one that's currently building here. Let me, uh, just as an experiment to see whether things are going okay or not, I'm going to switch, I'm actually going to switch launch site. I wonder why the build list is still here. Go away build list. Um, let's just switch to Baikonur. Okay. Let me, let me just check what's going on. And then I'm going to switch back to Cape Canaveral and see what happens. Because this is important stuff we need to know. Oh, oh, oh yes, Baikonur. Very much so. Okay, well that's still building. Nothing in construction, which is technically okay. The one that's building should end up uh, at Cape Canaveral, though. Hopefully it doesn't look like the sun. Yeah, it does. I don't know why it does. Okay, Cape Canaveral. Okay. Well, we need to get a Mubi on, on the queue anyway. I get. I suppose they weren't nice enough to give back the funds that they took from us for building stuff. No, I suppose they didn't. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just have to deal with this. It's so bright. Soviet sunlight is more powerful. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. Apparently, I I don't particularly like bright suns. I live in a place where we hardly ever get any clouds. So, okay, well let's uh, let's build a couple. Even though I'm probably gonna run out of funds in this. So Kerbal Construction time working there for those just joining. Needs ambient light adjustment in real life. Perhaps. You know, you could create a fully reu uh, reuse, re not reusable, renewable rocket in that uh, if you uh, have a Hydrolox whole thing like a Delta IV Heavy and then you uh, take water and split it apart using electrolysis using solar energy, you could fill it up with the hydrogen and oxygen and there you go, you've got a, you've got a green rocket. You just make water and use sunlight to split water. Oh, 222 days? What, we're, guys, we're not getting any vessels in storage. Where did our vessels go? Didn't we just build one? I thought I just built a vessel. Does anybody have any theories about what's going on here or should I just like restart the game? and hope for the best. It's not storing my vessels. I don't think this is gonna help any. Or... Well, let me let me see what hap... Maybe... Let me see what happens if I time warp in the tracking station. Yeah, maybe I'll go back to the tracking station and try that. A hundred... percent... And we have one in storage. The next one is taking twice as long. <laughs> it's taking 424 days. Seconds, minutes, hours, days. Okay, let's see if the rocket's still here. 
We all agree that it's still a rocket? Okay, roll that out. Now, what happens if I roll uh, warp to completeness here? Slightly unrealistic for a tiny rocket. Yeah, one that people could have made, like, month. These are not big rockets. Warp to complete button. Better to warp manually and let K... It causes many bugs. Okay, alright. Causes many... Alright, fine, I'll just manually time warp. That's what I normally do anyway. Okay, let's do that. But I don't like the bug where it... I had vehicles in storage. What happened to the Alpha? Alpha was in storage. Right? Now it's gone. Where's my little Alpha? Time disturbances, I never built it. Psh. The what? What? Sounding rocket, avionics package, exploded due to overheating. I waited that long, and okay, I'm calling total glitchiness. I'm calling total glitchiness. Something is wrong. Okay, um, tell you what. Yeah, uh, oh, we can't space enter it? What am I supposed to do with it? Can't recover? I can't recover it. Well, alright, abandoned mission, whatever. Quite a hot day at the KSC. So, basically at this point I would probably have to restart the game, I think. Uh, but let me, let me examine what's going on here uh, off to the side instead of bothering with it on stream, because I'll be able to do the testing a little bit more efficiently than that. With this tempo, the Soviets are gonna, going to beat not just to orbit to the moon and Mars. Yeah, uh, here's what I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe I should restart in normal mode. I think the building times are way off. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to restart in normal mode. I think there's something more about hard mode that's wrong that I don't understand. So I need to start in normal mode. And so I'll ponder that possibility and I'm also going to do some testing to see what's going on here. And I'll say thank you for watching. I'll stream on Saturday probably earlier, maybe 11 a.m. I'll think about that. Okay, and uh, I'll check uh, for mod updates and all that stuff. Yeah, I'll check for everything I can to make sure that this works out right. But uh, yeah, and we will continue uh, in the same vein. I want to launch a Moo rocket and so even if I restart in normal difficulty, I'll import the Moo rocket. All right. So yeah, we got to space, and that's a good thing. So I'll uh, I'll call it there. All right. So have a good evening, folks, and see you next time.